On this switch, I put a bolt as a spacer to move the bus bar down so that it will be straight across when I place it on the fuse holder because we don't want this to be at an angle and when we tighten these bolts down it would put it would put torque on the bus bar itself. In addition to that you can see that I've taken and put in another bolt on the top of the fuse holder so that it raises up the contact of the fuse holder so that this fuse will be directly across when I install it because we want the fuses on top of the bus bar because if there's a catastrophic failure and I do need to replace one of these fuses I don't want to have to take the entire bus bar assembly off in order to just be able to take the fuse out. So that is an important factor when installing this bus bar and the fuse system. Just something to make life easier in the future. Anytime I add something to the electrical system or pretty much anywhere in the van I try to buy stainless steel. It's a little more expensive, but much better off in the long run. Also, really this, I really like this Loctite and this uh, like glue stick. If you add just a little bit of Loctite to the threads, it'll stop them from coming loose. Now, even though I do that, I do still add washers. So first fuse is 100 amp, second fuse is 250 amps, third fuse 250 amps, and I still add lock washers because yes I am kind of overbuilding this whole system. I bet you there are some things that I'm doing that are probably not necessary, but sure aren't going to hurt. Get on there. And I also learned that if you buy these stainless steel nuts, which in this case are metric. These are M8 1.25, which go on these install gear fuse holders. Um, you can actually get some that use 5 16 socket. I'm sorry, not 5 16 Use a half inch socket. And then some of the other bolts I bought use a 14 millimeter socket, which is a little bit larger. So you want to be sure that you have all the same size. So when it comes time to replacing one of these fuses, you only need one tool to do the job. Um, the last thing, uh, some people might be looking at this and thinking, these fuses are really close. You know, when you go to replace them and you, you go to take them out, you might hit the adjacent fuse. But remember, I'm always going to shut the power off before changing any fuses. So. That's it for the fuse block. I have to add the section on this side, and then we're going to take it and put it on the actual power panel. So I'm working on the electrical panel, and the way I have it laid out, I need a 2 aught cable to come out the top here that goes to a fuse which leads to the lithium ion batteries that will be charged. This is the cable. Now, luck would have it that on this switch there's a cutout here, there's a cutout on the bottom, there's a cutout on this side, but there's no cutout on the top where I think I need it. Now, I could easily just take a hacksaw and cut this out or take a hot knife and slice this piece out. 
but I started looking at it and thought, let me take it apart. Maybe I can just rotate the way this on off switch works. So that's what I did. I took it apart. When you disassemble the switch and you take the back plate off, this is what you'll see. There's a spring and there's a heavy copper plate which moves back and forth and you can see that there's two plastic stops right here that stop that going from going any farther but there's also the plastic stop over here so if I take this copper plate out and move this stop rotate it around now I've switched it I have it that's off that's on and now my top is clear for my 2 aught cable the only thing that's not correct is my label which I can easily make my own simple little label and cover those two up so that's what I'm gonna do instead of getting a hacksaw and cutting this piece out down here it's too bad that they didn't leave this blank but I can see where it's safer to not have the top open in most installations so with that in mind I will probably put a plexiglass cover on the top of mine to keep that safe and away from any debris that might fall on it. Just one more thing to make life a little bit easier.